Well, hello again, and welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. And I'm your host, Irv Rish. Today, we're going to be going through another article, The Promise is to Prospect, Prospect and a Period. And this is on the coming of the Lord and all the promises that have been made by Steve Hulshizer. In John 14, Christ encourages his disciples by declaring that while he was leaving them, he would return. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am you may be also. John 14, verses 1 through 3. Let's take a look at these. The promise. Every believer in Christ has the promise that the Lord will come again and receive him to himself. A uh, reassurance aspect of this promise is the person who made it. It is the Lord himself who made this promise. I will come again. God manifest in the flesh has promised to come again. We can take comfort in this. For we read that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. And we read this in Hebrews 6, 18. It will be the Lord himself who comes for us, the same one who fed the 5,000 with a few loaves of fish, the same one who raised the dead, and made the blind to see, the same one who walked on water and calmed the raging sea, the same one who walked with the two on the road to Emmaus, the same one who rejected, was rejected and crucified, the same Jesus will come to take us uh, home to be with himself. The purpose of this promise is stated by the Lord himself that where I am, you shall be, uh, be, I'm sorry, that where I am, there ye may be. He has come again to take us out of the world to where he is. The bride will be with the bridegroom for eternity. We will be where he is. Now let's look at the prospect. The promise given each believer a believer a prospect, the certainty of being with the Lord. We can look forward to the taking from this world, whether we are alive or remain at his coming, or whether we have already gone to glory through the gate of death, only to be reunited. Uh, with our resurrected and, and changed bodies. This hope is heavenly, First Corinthians 1 Corinthians 1.5. It is a living hope. It is that it is in the living one who sits at the right hand of God, First Peter 1 Peter 1.3. This hope is an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast. Hebrews 6.19. One aspect, this prospect, is it is intimate. It is the bridegroom coming for his bride. The bride is to be looking for the person, not an event. Paul said, we look for the Savior, Philippians 3.20. The Thessalonian saints had turned to God from idols, to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven. First Thessalonians 1.10 We should be waiting for the Lord as the bride waits for her, her bridegroom, not just to be taken from the scene, but to be where he is. Another aspect of the prospect 
of his coming is immediacy. The Lord can come at any moment. This should keep us from uh, driving our ten pigs deeper and deeper into the world. Now let's look at the period. Between the period between the Lord's promise and to come again, and realize that the prospect set before us is a period of time. It is an indefinite period of time. There are no seven seventieth weeks for the New Testament church. How long this period is, no one knows except God. The fact that this period is indefinite requires us to wait patiently. As in the days of Noah, they are some who would question whether the Lord will keep his word. In similar fashion, Israel grew tired of waiting for Moses uh, to return from the mountain and made themselves other gods. Idols is an ever-present danger as we wait for the sun from heaven in this indefinite period. The period is not only indefinite, but one of increasing darkness, departure, and deception. This means we must be waiting. We must wait, and we must watch. There is to be an expectation. We must not fall asleep, as did the ten virgins. The bright and morning star preceded the rising of the sun, and we will arise in the darkest hour of the day. We must remember the longer the night, the closer the rising of the sun. The period will also be marked by impurity. We must then walk as children of light. We must flee fornication and walk as examples to the dark world around us. Indefinite will mark the in in the indifference will mark the indefinite period of time. This requires the believer to be working. So many are engaged in the affairs of life and are indifferent with regards to the things of the Lord. Worldly events take priority over the gathering of the local assembly and a personal time in prayer and of the reading of God's word. Now the provisions. The Lord not, has not left us without provision for this indefinite period of time. The following are some of the things which we have to encourage and enable us to patiently wait, watch, walk, and work until he comes again. We have the incorruptible and undefiled inheritance reserved for us in heaven, 1 Peter 1, 4. We have a certainty forever being with the Lord. The facts should keep our eyes forward and encourage our hearts, Hebrews 12, 2. We have an unceasing high priest, an interceding high priest, whoever lives to make intercession for us, Hebrews 7.25, one who has been here and suffered for righteousness' sake. The Lord has given us the indwelling Holy Spirit to comfort us along the way, one who will come alongside to strengthen us during this time. Then there is the inspired word of God, that which never changes, is able to guide us through the ever-changing world. We also have the in, in, interceding of the, uh, or the incense of the Lord's Supper that consists remembering of the one who purchased us at a great expense and who will return to take uh, his bride to be with himself. Having this personal promise of the Lord himself to return for us 
Let us continue to wait, watch, walk, and work in the indefinite period between the promise and the prospect, making us all the provisions, he, uh, using all the provisions that he has provided.